Why are Americans so attached to their guns? 1. I use them to defend my livestock. Coyotes and raccoons mostly too. They are pretty fun to take to the range 3. I live 30 men for the nearest police station 4. Hunting puts food in the freezer 5. The neighbor across the street runs a bison farm and every so often one escapes and goes on a crushing spree to which the farmer says if it's on your land shoot it and it's yours cause he's liable for damages. I don't think it's necessarily an attachment to the gun itself, but rather what it symbolizes. It's your right to defend yourself, your family and your property. Primarily, the very large cats and cuddly bears that might mistake me as a meal. Then lastly the very small percentage of humans that might cause me harm with very few police since I live in more of a rural area. Our police force have run it to the highest court in the land that they have no duty to protect us. None. And seeing as if you call them. They might show up eventually while the criminals are definitely armed and here now, I have no choice but to protect my family with firearms. This threat is more civil than I thought it would be. When the nearest police station is well over half an hour out, it's nice to have some security. Because they pretty fun to shoot. Americans and guns have a long history. During the Manifest Destiny era, many American settlers and families expanding often carried two things, the family Bible and a gun. In addition to the other answers, the historical social significance of guns is a strong factor against wanting to break from tradition. Our country is very big. Our population is very disperse. Many people live a very long way from police forces. And police force may even be a strong term for the sheriff and a few deputies that live in the closest town. Where I grew up, there was a constable. I am not even sure he had deputies. I think it was just him. In those areas, criminals know that the police cannot show up quickly, and residents know they are on their own. Mainly it's the attachment of freedom, not the guns. Not saying there aren't people addicted to owning guns, but the main reason is a right to have the choice and defend yourself from tyrannical government. That's what's written anyway. I run a ranch so unfortunately I kinda need it. Great way to defend yourself. Because they are the best force equalizer an individual can have. How else can an 80-year-old grandmother protect herself from a younger, stronger attacker looking to harm her or deprive her of her possessions? Why do you trust your government to control all the weapons? Our country wouldn't exist if the residents of the 13 colonies hadn't been armed. In a life-or-death situation, where seconds matter, police are minutes away. The idea that a government can tell some people that they don't have the right to defend their own life appropriately just feels extremely dystopian to me. It'd be harder to come up with a list of countries whose government has committed atrocities against its populace than those that haven't. An assault-style super-death weapon is the one equalizer that can keep an oppressive government and or occupying force at bay. Congrats to the countries where firearm ownership has been taken from them, and they haven't been brutalized by their government to the point they wish they had their firearms. If history were to tell us anything, that's definitely an anomaly and not the norm. It's in our constitution. Why are you attached to your freedom of speech, or religion, or press, or assembly? If you are not American, why are you attached to whatever rights your constitution guarantees you? See Ukraine. Why is the rest of the world so obsessed with America? We don't want to be Europe chill, 